When it comes to building TV apps, we have some alternative lazy composables that are designed specifically for use on TV. When it comes to displaying browsable content in your TV app, the TV Lazy Row is going to be your go-to composable. Specifically, when composing subsets of data, the TV Lazy Row allows you to display a single row of content. The TV Lazy Row composable has an almost identical API to that of the Lazy Row composable. There are a couple of notable differences, however, when it comes between the two. First up, the TV Lazy Row contains no fling behavior argument. For the lazy row, this is used to respond to user scroll gestures, which is not an available behavior for TV devices. Secondly, the TV lazy row contains an additional pivot offsets argument. Due to the hardware input used to navigate on Android TV, the TV lazy row automatically shows the next items during scrolling. The pivot offsets can be used to offset how much of these next items are displayed. Other than these behavior changes and the under the hood impact that they have, the API can be used in an almost identical way. When it comes to composing the TV Lazy Row, we can use the following code, composing the TV Lazy Row itself, followed by composing any child items inside of it. Similar to the TV Lazy Row, the TV Lazy column is an equal replacement to the Lazy column from the Compose APIs. This allows us to display vertically scrolling content composing items in a lazy fashion as they are required. The TV Lazy Column Composable has an almost identical API to that of the Lazy Column Composable, and we can again compose this in a similar way to the existing Lazy Column. In cases where we want to show collections of categorized content, we can combine the TV Lazy Row and TV Lazy Column Composables. In the example on screen, we can see different kinds of group content that can be scrolled horizontally, allowing the user to move vertically between each of the collections. In this scenario, we can nest the TV Lazy Row composables inside of the TV Lazy Column, just like you would do when it comes to the Lazy Row and Lazy Column. This allows us to still provide a TV-specific experience for users via the Compose APIs for Android TV. When it comes to the lazy and TV lazy composables, you may be wondering why do we have the different composables for TV apps? The main difference here is the scrolling behavior. When it comes to the lazy row, we can see that when we hit the end of the visible items in the list, we need to continue scrolling to see the next items. However, on the TV lazy row, we can see how as we navigate through the content, the next items become automatically visible. This not only creates a greater immersive experience, but it previews the next content to the user, meaning that they do not need to manually navigate further to see what is next in the content stream. Aside from this, the TV lazy layouts help us to ensure that TV specific experiences and behaviors are automatically applied for our composables, while also providing a familiar API for composing child items and enforcing TV composable properties and scopes through the composable APIs. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to check out my website and other social channels to learn more about Android and Jetpack Compose.